Should you buy an electric car now that a lot of your neighbors and friends are probably have one or thinking about one and you've probably seen all these awesome videos on TV and here on YouTube? Um, that's a good question. And I'm going to give you a, a pretty precise answer because it's going to depend on your situation, where you live, and of course, many other personal things that I cannot custom tailor it to you because I don't know you. But I think I, I, I'll give you some very uh, good ideas on, on whether or not you should make the jump and really what kind of an electric car you should get. All of this is coming up next. Thank you to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon at patreon.com slash e4electric. Thank you for supporting the show. And if this is your first time here on YouTube and you are interested in getting, you know, up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, well, go ahead and all you have to do is really go ahead and click on that subscribe button. That's free. And that way you will stay up to date uh, and won't miss anything moving forward. All right. So you're thinking about it. You've seen Teslas and all the cool videos and Nissan Leafs and other cars. And you're thinking like, hey, you know, I, I, I need to buy a car pretty soon. Should it be an electric car? Um, well, first of all, let me, let me tell you, the, the electrification of the, 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 the fleet and the entire world is, is, is coming. Um, simply because the technology is just too good and it will get only better. Uh, electric cars now are just simply better than gas cars. If you look at Tesla's, for example, they're better than Mercedes-Benz. Um, there is and there's a lot of room to improve there, a lot, and they're only going to be getting better and better every year. Where gas cars, if you noticed, they haven't they haven't really gotten that much better in the last ten or twenty years. Um, also, there are tons of different regulations and laws and, uh, that are being passed all over the world where essentially the gas cars will be banned from being sold. Um, so we are moving towards the electric future as far as the um, transportation industry is concerned. But should you join now or later? First, uh, and, and I'm going to make it very simple, but first let's just talk about what electric cars even are. Because I don't think people know that there are different types and that actually will affect your decision. Before that, I also just want to mention that um, this uh, video and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. The all-electric brand, which I'm sure you've heard of it. If you have one uh, right now, um, go ahead and grab a discount code in the description of this video and have a good time shopping for Tesla accessories. I have a few of Evanex accessories on my Tesla and I absolutely love it. That's why they sponsor. Okay, uh, let's move on to uh, the two types of electric cars uh, that we're talking about when we when we say electric cars: um, all electric or uh, a, a plug-in hybrid. All right. Now, all electric cars are Teslas, for example, where you don't and can't really put gas in them at all. They 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 you you charge them. Uh, you charge the battery. They have a battery, and that's the battery. That's the fuel uh, for your car. Um, the uh, and, and and another good example is a Nissan Leaf is is another car that that completely runs on electricity and they've been around for a while. I'm seen, I'm sure you've seen one. This is a second generation one. They don't look anything alike. Uh, one is ugly and one is not. That's how you can tell them apart. Um, but it, it, the difference is the the plug-in hybrids and this is something like a Chevy Volt, for example. Now I have a Chevy Volt and I have a Tesla, so I have both. Uh, both types of cars. Now, plug-in hybrids, you can you you can charge them, you can charge their battery, and they will run on the battery. Not as far as the all electric cars, but there is a small little gas engine, and you can also put gas in that car. That when you run out of electricity, uh, it will start powering up your still all electric powertrain uh, with energy that's coming out from burning fossil fuels, which is not exactly what we want. But nevertheless, it's a good peace of mind. Just you know, in case if you run out of of your of your electricity or you need to take a long trip that's what i use my uh, plug-in hybrid for uh, mainly so that's a decision you 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 need to make because uh you know plug-in hybrid and to be honest with you volt and maybe honda clarity and a couple of other ones are really the only ones that i would even recommend because they have a range of more than 50 miles and that's kind of a bare minimum for me you know as far as if you want to be um, have it as a daily driver and just kind of keep to the electric range. Other ones, they have 15, 20, 25 in Prius, whatever. 
they just don't have enough range and they can't fully always operate just on electricity a lot of times you want to turn the heater on oh we got to kick the gas engine on um so i would i would recommend chevy volt i love this car i don't know anybody who owns one and doesn't like that love the car um and and the pricing is really good so um that would be an example of plug-in hybrid so battery only longer range smaller battery smaller range but also backup uh, a gas engine to power uh to power the electric powertrain and those are plug-in hybrids all right let, once we got that out of the way let me move on to pretty much three things that you need to know and understand about your lifestyle and your situation that will determine whether or not you're ready to do it number one it's home charging okay you in order to be in order to own a, an electric car comfortably uh you need to be able to have a home charger and this is this is the tesla one that i actually had on my previous location which was an apartment complex actually that's why it's so dark in there <laughs> and um and they're all different types like right now my charger is actually not like a charger that hangs on the wall um it's a 240 outlet and i have kind of an extension a converter you know cord and i plug both my my uh vault and my uh, model s in it um and it doesn't even like it just looks like a cord with a little transformer on it um if you don't have means of either in, if you don't have one already or don't have means of installing one um and you your landlord for example if you're renting is not willing to do that or you don't have already an outlet in your garage like for for a dryer or something where you can also plug it in i would recommend that you guys don't all right um trying to run around and figure out where you're going to be charging uh even if you have a tesla and you have free supercharging that's still you know 45 minutes that you charge to full um yes when you travel it's relatively fast but when you have to do it on daily or you know weekly basis in and drive to that location and sit there it, it doesn't make sense for most so if you don't have a, a a way to have a home charger i would say uh wait for a while but whenever you are moving into a new location where whether you're getting a, a, a new home or you're going to rent make that make, include the, that into your decision whether or not there is a charger there or if your landlord is willing to install one uh, it could be on your expense and that that you should calculate that as well in your decision uh, but some apartment complexes and some houses already have those outlets or more than willing to install them so make sure to think about that as well number two and I, I don't mean to stick my nose into your wallet but i kind of have to and this is a kind of your decision do you have fifty thousand dollars to spend can you afford a fifty thousand dollar car i always recommend that most people uh, uh lease it is just cheaper that way overall i have videos about why that is not for everyone but i believe for most people and um the reason fifty thousand dollar is a cutoff is that all good all electric cars right now which is mainly tesla and a few are, are, are coming out um cost more than fifty thousand dollars so if you can afford it then i would definitely recommend to go with tesla or if you're buying um, a car next year they will have a few other options including audi e-tron uh in porsche uh, uh, tycon um i'm personally it looks like i'm going to be switching to audi uh, e-tron from from my tesla um so that's kind of a price that that you need i i, I believe it's a cutoff um cut off price now don't forget to include incentives there are some states and countries that have a federal in incentives like in the us we have seventy five hundred dollar incentive that will be cut in half starting next year for tesla but not for other manufacturers if it's still there by then i don't know if our, what our congress is going to do uh and uh there are some local rebates like here in california it's twenty five hundred dollars um kind of a straight up rebate you don't have to wait until your tax return uh but um i believe you have to make less than one hundred fifty thousand dollars. so and in california that's not even that big of a salary especially in san francisco bay area where most tesla owners are now if you have less than fifty thousand dollars to spend then um you are now thinking about um and you probably your only decent choice is going to be that's available widely is the nissan leaf now I would recommend to wait a few more months if you can because the Nissan Leaf is just about to uh, change the battery that they're going with into a much 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 better one including the thermal management system which is extremely important from LG Cam so 2019 Nissan Leaf will, will, will have that one but we have a couple of other ones that are coming out on the horizon actually the production is starting later this year um kia nero ev and this one's actually being sold um in in many other parts of the world just not here in the United States 
and Hyundai Kona EV both of those cars will have way into 200 mile range um, they will have a price of um, around in their early 30s uh, plus the incentives and by the way the Nissan Leaf also starts at uh, 30,000 American dollars um, and uh, the, the, those are all good cars from legacy manufacturers with with um, uh, leasing options right away which model uh, 3 doesn't have on uh, for Tesla they they obviously have service centers and, and and so forth so those are some really good options going into the next year but even if you do have more than fifty thousand dollars just like I said there will be more and more options next year now all of these cars that I'm talking about a lot of them have a waiting list so if you know you're going to be strongly considering buying an electric car I would reserve one or two of those usually it's either free but in a lot of times it's one or two thousand dollars they're fully refundable so by the time you decide let's say not to go with a particular car you can get that money back really really easily so I would I would reserve one or two or three um, right now so your decision at least is more realistic because you know by the time you decide to get a car and and you wait might still be three to six months well that you kind of cornered yourself out of that decision all altogether no matter how much you want that car so think about that um, in the very third one um, it really is a timeline and I think I've been kind of talking about it already right right now Tesla uh, all Teslas uh, and Nissan Leaf I would say uh, and, and Chevy Bolt I forgot about Chevy Bolt but I don't know about that car uh, but Chevy Bolt uh, 234 uh, miles also a decent range so let, yeah I'll go ahead and include it um, I just don't like the look I just don't like the fact that Chevy is not behind that but but it is available and it has the full $7,500 uh, tax rebate incentive still here in the, in the United States I don't think they're going to be running out you know as fast as as Tesla but those are pretty much your options right now if you want to have a car with a decent range 150 to 300 miles between all those different cars and models um, but if you wait until next year uh, depending on where you are in the world just like I said many other choices will be available um, definitely by the end of the year but some of these cars are going to be sold you know first second quarter of the year um, you might want to contact the manufacturers find out when it is exactly in your area uh, match that with whatever the incentive um, phase outs you might be having in your area um, and then of course figure out what your own timing is and, and, and you know put put your deposit down that's fully refundable so timing is extremely important um, if you think about those three things uh, you will you you will be able to clearly identify whether or not you're ready to buy an electric car right now um, wait until next year or just decide to go with a car for you know that's maybe a hybrid or a fully gas car if that's you know if that's your need for example if you need a pickup truck you know for your business or that's just how you roll well there are no options for you right now it's mainly you know passenger cars and 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 SUVs um, so that's that's maybe another reason why you might want to wait but if 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 you consider these three things you guys should definitely be able to make a decision and I hope you join us uh, and become part of this community as soon as you can without really kind of a you know obviously disrupting your life because I don't think too many people want to disrupt their lives for a car for a transportation but some some of you do and that's pretty cool all right now I also want to give a shout out to my newest patreon Dana Pearson thank you so much for supporting the show if you are interested in supporting the show and I just went full time with it so I I'm producing more uh, content for you guys and I think it is now even better quality than before though there's still room to improve uh, of course go to patreon.com slash for electric it's as low as one dollar a month you can support me uh and and the benefits are, are are you know relatively I think uh wide as far as what you can pick and choose out of obviously you can watch me live on patreon I do an extra segment here uh, called extra miles exclusively for the patreons better access uh, uh more pictures and videos that I post just especially when I travel to keep you guys updated so hopefully you can join me there and support the show thank you for those of you who are doing that and Dana Pearson being one of the new Patreons um, and let me remind you that every Sunday now I'm doing a subscriber hangouts it's live on YouTube free hopefully you can join me there as well all right guys uh hope I help uh, me, uh, you know help you make uh, the decision hopefully you will join us in our community or at the very least subscribe to the channel so you can keep your eye on what's going on in the world of electric cars other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged